for the RB15 was one of our best performer videos in some time, and I've been seeing the messages on Instagram, on Patreon especially. Josh, can you release an RB16? We are going to release the RB16 today, and it's taken a while to make it quite different and actually improve it at the same time, and we've come up with the perfect formula. If you do enjoy the tactics, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and if you want to get today's tactic alongside of 12 other perks, you can come over to the Patreon in the link below to get access to a very fast and effective download. Let's get into the testing. First up, Brighton. We have taken Brighton to the absolute depths and back. We have taken them to absolute insanity. As you can see on your screen right now, we are going to be part of a quadruple winning season. I'm going to showcase it right off the bat because this is really the storyline of this video. We win the Europa League against Marseille in 1-0 fashion. We win the FA Cup against Man City in 2-1 fashion. And the Carabao Cup, we also beat Man City 2-0. Now, I will say this right now. If you saw the community tab yesterday, you would have had a little spoiler to this season because I could not resist showing you what I've managed to do. And going over to this, you can go and see Brighton have a ridiculous season again in the Premier League. Evan Ferguson, top goal scorer. Julio coming in in third place. We've got three players with the average rating, three players with the most assists, and also Verbruggen picking up the most amount of clean sheets. Now going over to them stats, we are seeing 131 goals, most shots at over 711, and the fewer shots at two. 205 with the most clean sheets and the fewest conceded this is a tactic which genuinely might be the best you've ever seen this year because honestly we absolutely cooked with brighton with zero signings the data hub i'm not going to hide it we have seen better on this channel but we are still looking at 3.45 goals a game 0.58 conceded over 18 shots a match a great pass completion and a very good tackle win ratio this is a tactic and a season you're never going to forget in the league we were absolutely batter a man city a home game yes but a 3-0 win against City with a team like Brighton you can never not give me credit for that I mean it's absolutely incredible Matoma in to Julio back in the middle a little bit lucky there I believe may have gone down as an own goal with Pascal Gross into Fatty through into Ferguson it's so easy come on it's an RB tactic we've got to use RB Leipzig and as you can see a ridiculous season in the Bundesliga only losing one game against Hoffenheim away which was one of the first games of the season I do believe and as you can see we've got all three players when it comes to the most assists and I will say I have got custom set pieces for this tactic which you will get alongside of it as well so you can come over and get those on the Patreon as well where Willie Orban picks up 18 goals and we were playing for set pieces towards a lot of these games especially the big games where they were quite neck and neck and we really extracted the most out of this centre back. We've got three players in the average rating, Raum and Simmons first and second with the most assists, clean sheets Galashi, he outperforms Cabell, he outperforms Neuer, just Galashi things just tactic things, most goals Goals, most shots, fewer shots against, 63% possession, more than Bayern, more than anyone, more than Leverkusen, more than Frankfurt, more than Dortmund, fewest conceded, most clean sheets, everything going in our favour. And of course, we also are going to win the Pockel. 4-0 against a bit of a weaker team in the final, I will say. And the German Super Cup, we win 1-0 against FC Bayern. In fact, the only thing we don't win is going to be that Champions League because Real Madrid are a bit too much of a powerhouse. But again, going into the data hub, we can understand a little bit more about how this tactic performs. At 3.21 goals per game, only 0.38 conceded, over 15 shots a game, a really high, a really high pass completion and a very good tackle win ratio. But to be honest with you, this Pockel final really did not have anything go wrong. I mean, we were so consistent and they got off to a great start here in the second half with 47 minutes played on the clock around about six minutes after that Haidara goes down the right in the middle into Sesco and at this point the game was done so I did go to the defensive variant to wrap it up and we just kept scoring goals I mean it's one thing you can't complain about when you go to a defensive tactic you're scoring goals, you can't complain. But then go over to what is going to be probably the powerhouse of the video in Feyenoord, and we put on an absolutely ridiculous display. And I love testing with Feyenoord because they're one of my favourite teams to watch in real life. I don't even know why, but I just love watching them. And as you can see, we have absolutely taken over the league. Just one loss in 34 games. That is going to be against Ajax, one of the better teams in the league. We've got three players in the top goal scorers, three players in the average rating, and also three players with the most assists. With Calvin Stengs, 41 assists. He absolutely cooked in this system. And when you see the tactic, I'm going to explain why he done so well. And the same with Linger as well, putting on an absolute show in this team. Now, going over to the stats, most goals at 168, nearly 100 more than Ajax in second place. Most points over 790 shots. The fewer shots against will take that home as well. Most dribbles, fewest conceded, and the most clean sheets. Everything is going in our favour. And it carried on that way as we win the Champions League against PSG. The Dutch Cup, we are going to win 13-0 in the final against quite a weak team. But still, 
13-0 and the Johan Cruyff Shield we win 6-0 against PSV at the start of the season. So a really, really strong performance and the Data Hub, I would imagine, is going to look the nicest. It is at 4.94 goals a game, 0.47 conceded, over 23 shots a match, a great tackle win ratio and just over, and I mean just over, that 90% pass completion. I feel like you have to watch a Champions League final, so we're going to do that today. And as you can see, it was actually really good play inside of two minutes to make it 1-0 in this big game. And I will say we're not flawless in the Champions League and Bappe does go through and equalise with 61 minutes on the clock. But we grab the winner here with Timber into Hartman. Again, so many options. We make it look so easy. And lastly, the mighty RB leads, the Red Bull leads coming in. And as you can see, again, only one loss here. And that is going to be against Watford in an eight-game thriller. An eight-game, an eight-goal thriller. As you can see, Cardiff getting blitzed towards the end of the season. But once again, all of our players, especially the attacking players, putting on a performance to remember. We've got three players in the top goal scorer. We've got three players in the average rating, three players with the most assists, and got the most clean sheets as well. Nonto, Somerville, and Perot having an absolute field day in this system. Them. And as you can see, we nearly approached 200 goals, nearly 200 goals in the league alone. 863 shots for, fewer shots against at 233, all while having 64%. Now, I don't know, you, you will know this if you played Football Manager, but it is so hard to balance possession, goals scored, shots for as well. We've done it all. We've done it all in today's video. We've had the possession. We've scored nearly 200 goals. Defensively, we're the best in the league. And going over to the Data Hub as well, you can go and expect to see this. 4.26 goals a game, only 0.8 conceded, over 18 shots a match, a 91 basically percent pass completion, and an even good, it's a very good tackle win ratio. We're outperforming everyone, but you're used to that by now. Over to your favourite part of the video, that is going to be the tactic breakdown. If you are enjoying, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will say right now, if you are want to get and save a bit of time, you can get access to all three of these tactics in one simple download over on the Patreon. You also do get the mobile and the console tactics. You get my rebuild files, you get priority in the requests, rebuilds and tactics. You get one-on-one -on -one tactical help. I'll tweak your tactic. And also, you get access to some pretty big giveaways. Last month's £375 split between five winners. Now, what I will say is it also does obviously help me out big time in terms of a creator side of things. It allows me to carry on making the content and it allows me to give back as well when we've got over 4,700 people now. So the community we have got is absolutely mental considering we are not one of the big, big channels in the FM scene. We do a pretty good job. So let's go and build this tactic then live for you on air. So we are going to go through and we are going to deploy a Tiki Taka style. Now, the thought process behind the RB16 was to try and keep it similar to the RB15. So same sort of concept, but just tweak it and try and edge a little bit better in terms of performance in some of the games. Because with the RB15, it was brilliant, but I did feel in some of the games, especially against the smaller teams, we didn't really have that killer instinct. So today, we're going to put a fix to that by loading in a Tiki Taka. We'll load in any formation because it changes big time. And I will say this now very quickly, it is on a positive mentality, just to get that out in the picture. Now, the goalkeeper is actually going to be a sweeper keeper on attack. So that is going to be nice and simple. No real changes there. We are then going to go to the wing back on the right, and that is going to be a wing back on support. And yes, there is going to be some instructions within this role. He is simply going to be set to run wide and also tackle harder. So this player is going to have a big influence in getting further forwards, but he is not going to be as attacking as probably some of the wing backs, full backs, complete wing backs you have seen in my videos before. He's actually reserved to, for example, like a narrow diamond tactic. But for this tactic, he is going to contribute. You saw it in the stats and the highlights as well. That does still have an impact. Now, next to him, we are going to go with a deep default ball playing defender, no custom instructions on him whatsoever, purely because we do not need them. Next to him is going to be another ball playing defender, but he has got one instruction, and if you did see the RB15, you can probably guess what it's going to be. That is going to be set to stay wider, because what we're going to do next is going to be pretty tactic change, and we are going to have this player up here as a complete wing back, and he is going to be set to attack. Now, he has got some instructions on as well. Those are going to be take more risks. We're going to have him select an on cross more. We're going to have him set to dribble more and also run wide with the ball. Now, this side of the pitch, it is going to be attack, attack, attack with that left back. Now, traditionally, this was the left side because when I made this tactic, it was built around my RB Leipzig team back in FM22, where my left-handed side fullback was an absolute joke. So that is why we are favoured down the left. I guess you could flip this technically if you wanted to, but I've not trialled it, so I'll leave that up to you if you wish to. But we are going to quickly move this player out of the way because we're going to talk about the first real holding player in the team. And that, of 
course, is going to be a halfback. Now, very important to use a halfback in this position because it just covers this sort of exploited area space where this ball-playing defender might go out wide a little bit. He can drop in and cover, and he has got a real, real important part to play in this team. Now, going over to some of the player roles, we are going to have him, funny enough, on shoot less. We're going to have him on set to stay wider to cover that gap, and also we are going to have him set to tackle harder. This is one of the probably five or six roles in the team I would not say you could change and would not advise changing next to another one that I would definitely not change, which is going to be that DM on support, purely because I think you need it for the defensive side of the tactic. And he is going to be set to take fewer risks, shoot less often, and also tackle harder. So a very, very, very low risk DM option who is simply there to defend and obviously protect the back line. Now, this is where we take a little bit of a change because we are going to have an inverted winger and we're going to have him down here and he is going to be set to attack. And yes, he is going to have some instructions as well. He is simply going to be told to sit narrow. And that reason is because the wing back then can overlap. It also sort of acts him as a bit more of a shadow striker type vibe, not a shadow striker in terms of going into the box, but he's going to play more where a shadow striker would by default, an AM sort of vibe. And it works really, really well. Having him sit narrow is almost like another midfield player slash attacker midfield player. And the wing back does overlap and it works really, really well. Now going up to the pitch, you're probably going to see um, something which you probably might not be expecting, but we are going to have a shadow striker, which is why it works really well with this inverted winger because he comes inside as well and links up with the other shadow strikers and they are both going to be on the same set of instructions so we're going to both have them on shadow striker right now let's go and do that and let's add some key instructions shall we so let's go and add them on they are going to be set to run wide we're going to have them set to stay wide we're going to have them set to roam and we're also going to have them set to tackle harder that is going to be the same for the right and also exactly the same for the left hand side of course very important you have got width in any tactic this is no exception of that and lastly we are going to go with the meta the broken the perfect the ultimate the genius whatever keyword you want to use we are going to go with shoot more often on the advanced forward because it is by far the best role in the game at some point you've got to accept you know what things work in this game some things don't this is a tactic that works absolutely incredible we're using roles that are absolutely perfect the advanced forward has a field day in this tactic let's waste no more time let's get to the team instructions so again all based off the tiki tacker on the positive mentality we are going to go all the way down to fairly narrow we're going to overlap left and underlap right while playing out from the back is absolutely key in this tactic we're also going to have a much higher tempo or real high tempo should i say technically is what it says on the screen with a much shorter passing directness now the great thing about this is it allows us to play a very high tempo game all while still maintaining a very good possession rate because of how short we are playing these passes the final third is going to be set to low crosses and we are also going to select work ball into the box now we're in transition we are going to go with counter press counter we're going to play to the center backs and simply roll the ball out so the great thing about this is again i didn't want to go with the wing backs or the full backs for distribution because the complete wing back is obviously going to be very far pushed up and obviously you can't purely select just the right back in terms of if you click on this screen of course you can if you go into position but i also want the center backs being involved as well and lastly we are going to go with out of possession but we are going to be seeing a higher defensive line with a high pressing line of engagement we're going to get stuck in prevent short goalkeeper distribution and also max out the trigger press that is going to be a default tactic but please do stick around if you're not going to join the patreon which is completely fine by the way you can stick around and copy these other two tactic variants and all tactic results feature all tactic variants. I use every single variant you see to get these results. I will not say that enough because I want that to be very clear. That is why I make free because you need free. And now for a slightly more attack and one where this probably takes the maxed out attack approach you can probably ever want in a football match. The goalkeeper does remain the same. The wing back on the right remains exactly the same. In fact, the entire back three do remain the same as well as the goalkeeper. The complete wing back also remains unchanged purely because there's nothing really you can do too much. The halfback take more risks when it comes to that so again a little bit different just having a little bit more of a risk taken halfback the volante comes in on get further forwards and move into the channels we are also going to feature an inverted winger on attack so the real big change what you can see already is these two players here the halfback a lot more attack and the volante obviously a lot more attack and then a dm the shadow strikers remain exactly the same as does the advanced sword it's a team instructions where the changes happen so i've kept it on positive i've kept it on tiki taka we are going to leave this in the middle we are 
are going to pass into space. We're going to underlap right, overlap left, play out from the back. Of course, we're going to max out that tempo with low crosses. We're going to work ball into the box for now. If you're five minutes, you need a goal, untick it, have shots at goal. Don't be afraid to take risks. And we're also going to have this all the way down to much shorter with this time being run at defense and also be more expressive selected. In transition, we are going to roll the ball out to the center backs or counter pressing and counter. And we're trying to score a goal, so let's get things moving pretty quickly. Pretty common sense, but we'll add it in anyway. And we are going to go with the high pressing line of engagement. And you can probably tell the much higher defensive line. Get stuck in, prevent short goal could be distribution. And of course, we are going to max out to a much more often trigger press. And now to defend those games out, and it's a much more reserved sort of formation. Actually quite defensive when it wants to be. The goalkeeper does remain the same, so I still want quite an attacking sweeper keeper. The wing back remains the same. Both of the ball playing defenders also remain the same. The complete wing back now drops back to support exactly default nothing special with him the halfback goes back to being very risk free pass it shorter shoot less stay wider and also tackle harder the dm comes in on defend on take fewer risks and tackle harder the inverted winger drops to support on pass it shorter roam and sit narrow with both of the sort of players above them being attacking midfield players and they are both going to be exactly the same on pass it shorter hold up ball run from position stay wider and also tackle harder and the advanced forward he remains unchanged. And for the first time in a while, we're going to maintain again the same mentality, positive, the same tactical style, tiki taka. He's going to go down to fairly narrow on this occasion, though. We are only going to overlap left. We're going to play out from the back. We're going to go down to a middle tempo, so that will make it a slightly lower tempo. We are going to time waste. We're going to dribble less. You can probably guess what we're going to do. It's much more possession focused now, more controlling. If you've got my set pieces installed, definitely play for them because that will get you goals alone without even playing good football. You get a free kick or a corner. You've got a good chance to score them. And in transition, we are going to go with counter press counter slow the pace down more time wasting go to the center backs are rolling the ball out again more time wasting and lastly we are going to go with a mid block with a standard line we are still going to have this max out because i want to win the ball back when and if we can and also prevent short goalkeeper distribution and that's going to give you boys and girls back home not one not two but three variants of the rb16 one of my favorite projects to do in this game you seem to absolutely love them a bit of fun for me as well again if you have enjoyed be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to show any love back on the videos you can do so by joining the patreon not only does it help me out as well you actually get a so many perks, so many perks. You get over 13 tactics, rebuilds, giveaways, so much more as well. Go over and get involved in that and I'll be seeing you in the next one. We've got some pretty exciting tactics coming up, but again, you can keep commenting below what you want to see when the football season starts up. Manager re recreations, they're coming back big time. I'll tell you that.